Ari Lennox considers quitting music to become a real estate agent. Hey, just wanted to say hi. Um, I'm not going to be on here long because um, live is very stressful, especially now. But I just wanted to say hi because I just want I just want to um, just want all of it to kind of like die down and I kind of feel like the sooner I start acting like or just sharing with you like my life day to day not day to day but like as it's currently happening the sooner uh, more healing can happen and I feel like um, not talking about it with anyone other than the people that I can trust um, uh, it's probably what's best for me, you know, because um, I realize I'm not, it's too much. It's too much to try to unpack and it's too much to keep fighting. So I just rather it disappear uh, for my own mental health. And uh, yeah, so I posted a clip of like, um, old boy because I, I was watching old boy for like the first time and i noticed like every time like he's about to get mad <sighs> he starts shaking and i was like um, i was just telling friends that there were a few times like recently where i felt myself getting really angry um one time re was yesterday on twitter <laughs> And then another time I had an incident with um, a, what is it? Um, I was trying to order something on um, an eating app and I found myself um, calmly checking the person because the person was very, very rude. But um, I found myself shaking, like my body, like uncontrollably shaking, like my neck, like my head, like the way, the, the clip that I posted on my story. And I was just like, um, I'm not okay. Like, I'm not okay. Cause how could I, like my body is telling me I'm not okay. Um, I'm shaking now, uh, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to like chill about it. But, um, uh, okay, all right. But I just, I just wanted to say hi, cause I'm, um, all right, I'm gonna just be right here. I'm not trying to be annoying, I swear, but um, just wanted to say hi, and I wanted to, I mean, I don't know why I'm here, I guess, cause I'm not okay, but I just wanted to say I'm not, I'm not like, not alive, you know? So that's what's happening right now. And hopefully I can get to a point where I will be okay. So I've been talking to a therapist and you know, we'll see like what happens with that. I kind of want to quit therapy <laughs> already. I did two sessions um, and it was, um, it was powerful. And I realized um, why certain moments uh, we're so triggering. We're so triggering. And uh, so, yeah. Um, I've been in a place where it's like, I don't know if I want to continue music because there's so much anxiety in every aspect of like, in every aspect of like what I do, whether it's flying, whether it's performing, whether it's like social, like just anything involving social interaction and um and um but like i realize it's all i have i guess but on the other hand some good things that i've been doing <laughs> i've been watching uh selling tampa that is very very entertaining and i love y'all everybody on selling tampa I know that's really random, but um, because before I even like found out about selling Tampa, I was thinking about real estate. Like it would be cool to probably switch careers um, 
so that I can just be happy. Um, so like, yeah, real estate, I was thinking about. And so, yeah, so, but then I saw Selling Tampa and I was like, wow, like, you know, black women like really killing it all the time, just killing it. And uh, watching the show is beautiful to see how like all of these beautiful women, they're juggling all of these things in like life, but they're also tackling, they're also tackling like the things, um, their work, you know what I'm saying? So I thought that was really fire. And uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing, watching Selling Tampa and, oh, sh oh, and uh, lots of thriller movies and um, yeah. But uh, most days, most days are like weird, you know, but um, there are like moments in those days where they're really good. Um, and I think like watching that has been very entertaining for me and reconnecting with friends like Brie and Lanisha, that's been really great. But yeah, I um, yeah, I didn't I didn't come here to spill spill anything. I didn't come here to spill much. I just um, just uh, I guess wanted to give you an update because it's not like a anything that deep and that uh, newsworthy or whatever. I just wanted to say hello, I guess, because I'm not gonna lie and be like is perfect um or okay because um i want to tell y'all so much not about what happened but like that's just about like things that have happened since but it's just like no context there's no point but man um uh, i've been tried but i've been also trying to do things that make me happy like i don't know get my nails done and like talk to the people I love. So that's nice. But um yeah. I hope y'all have a um good day. I don't I but also to clarify, I guess cuz um you know I have ADHD. So to clarify, the quitting of singing. I don't think that's the most realistic. Um I think it's something that's uh, something I want to do eventually. I don't think it's going to be soon. I think I should probably drop one more album and then stop so that, like I said, I can um, be happy and be cool and just kind of live my life peacefully, you know? Um, so yeah, I think just one more and just save up and bounce because uh, it's not fun. It's not fun chasing this shit. Um, I'm very grateful. This is by no means um, me expressing like being ungrateful. Have y'all ever seen like Miss Sloan? Um, I kind of feel like it's crazy. Like all these movies I've been watching, they've been so triggering. <laughs> um, I feel like Miss Sloan, like a little bit. Like, I love her. I love that movie. Um, I love um, a lot of her movies. She's great. But I've been feeling like Miss Sloan. And like, like, damn, like, I just wanna do that. I wanna just really do, I just wanna be good. And, um, oh, I just wanna be good. So that's all I have to say. And, um, yeah. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, but I guess I'll just read what y'all have, what y'all are saying. Um, that was a fire movie, right, Dwayne? It was really good. Y'all, it was crazy. Today, I literally was like, before I get on live, because I didn't know what I was going to say, but I knew I wanted to say something that, Let's start getting this shit behind us, you know? Um, but yeah, I was like, okay, let me just make some tea. Let me, of course, take care of G. Um, that was first. And then, of course, shower, 
tea. Almost burnt the damn boiled eggs. Almost burnt the damn boiled eggs. But I didn't. And I ate them. So, yeah. So I was like, let me make sure I'm fed. Let me make sure I take care of myself before I get on live. Because I don't usually... Uh, I'm not ever usually that organized in my life ever. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, let me get cute. Cause a part of me was like, maybe I should just come on here looking a hot mess like the usual, but I was like, no, let me like, and it helps, you know, like uh, taking care of you and like getting glammed up, like, or you know, whatever that means to you. Um, I think it can make a big difference um, with your mood. And so I found myself throughout this time just kind of like, okay, today I'm going to be fucking sexy, you know, not for anyone else, but for me, the fuck. So it's, it's been helping a lot, just like being cute, being cute and, um, doing my favorite thing, which is like drive to Malibu, um, and just look at the water. Um, my therapist told me to give my problems to the water. Um, <laughs> so I just stood there and I talked to the water. It was cool. I never did no weird shit like that before ever, but it kind of was cute. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm in a, a transitional space. Um, yeah. But also with music, back to like the whole music thing. Um, it's like, by no means will I ever stop recording. When I say quit, I mean like, well, but you know, it's like, if you record, you have to sing live. It's like, cause it's a whole thing, you know? And, and a lot of people will tell you, it's just a lot. It's like a lot, so yeah. But it's not that I'm not grateful. I just, um, I just want, you know, there's things I want to focus on, just other quieter things, other dreams of mine. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.